Uh, thank you to the Brain Foundation and donors for the gifts we're receiving tonight. Um, MRI is a rapidly evolving field and it takes a while for some of the developments in that area to make their way to clinical practice. And part of the research we're looking at is translating some of those techniques to the area of childhood stroke. Um, childhood strokes one of the leading causes of death and disability in children and about half the survivors suffer some sort of long-term physical disability or intellectual disability. Uh, a common example of physical disability is weakness or um, paralysis on one side of the body. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are going to be, we're interested in finding out how the brain rewires and repairs itself after stroke and why some children recover better than others. We're going to be looking at two groups of children to investigate this, this difference. The first group is those who recover well from childhood stroke, and the second group are those who don't. We're going to be using two types of MRI to look at these children. The first and uh, one type will be looking at the grey matter in the brain. The second type will be looking at the white matter. Uh, so functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, is very sensitive to the differences in oxygenation of the blood in the brain and therefore tells us in which areas of the brain the neurons are firing. And we expect to see differences in patterns between the difference in activation patterns between the two groups of children we're looking at. The second class of MRI is diffusion imaging and that lets us look at the white matter structures in the brain. The white matter contains the brain's wiring that connects, that transmits electrical signals between the different parts of the brain and the rest of the body and we're expecting to see differences in how the two, type, two groups of children recover. Um, what we're hoping to find is uh, markers, imaging-based markers, that let us determine which children are likely to recover well and therefore guide rehabilitation and uh, treatment of these children. Thank you.